Hello, Gamekeeper John here. Uh, something for you today. We've got a, a pickle fork, 9mm multiplex, clamped up in the bench. Obviously, we've got our catch box there. Now, do some footage and then slow it down to see exactly what happens when you twist the pouch. I'm fully aware everybody's tests may vary depending on what bands you use and everything and the way you shoot, but this should give us a rough idea. To show you the measurements, the inside gap is around 14 millimeters and from the bottom of the cup to the tip of the fork is about 16 millimeters so there's the size as i say this video is just something i wanted to see because um to be honest i have no idea about twisting the pouch it's all new to me but what we're going to do is take clips like this and slow it down we're going to be using lead and steel we're going to be drawing we're going to be twisting 90 degrees twisting 180 we're going to pull down like that which would act as the fork being pushed forward we're going to shoot straight we're basically going to see what happens or what doesn't happen I don't know I've got no idea what's going to happen but it's going to be interesting to watch right guys first off we're going to shoot a 9.5 millimeter steel without twisting the pouch Fork it. Now 9.5 millimeter steel. We're going to twist the pouch 90 degrees, like so. Didn't hit the fork. So we'll try a shot now, twisting the pouch 180. Pull back, twist 90, twist 180. Didn't hit the frame. Now on this one, these three tests, we're going to do it with the bands pulling at that angle which would um, be the same as pointing the frame forward see if this makes any difference to anything so 9.5 millimeter steel in the pouch this would act as the pouch the catapult being pushed forward doesn't hit the fork and we're just going to try another shot with um, this being pulled down which would emphasise the frame being pushed forward because we didn't hit it last time and I was expecting it to hit to tell you the truth didn't hit it again and that is strange let's try that one once, once more emphasise it being pushed forward no twist didn't hit it ok so so now we're going to emphasise the frame being pushed forward Pull back, pouch in, ball in the centre, twist 90, shoots lovely. Now we're going to do it emphasising the fork to be pushed forward while twisting to 180. Make sure the ball's in the centre for every test so it's fair. Pull back, draw 90, draw 180, no fork it. Now we're going to do the same test again, but with quite bigger leads. See what we get. Quite obvious, I'd have thought this one would fork it, but you never know. Fork it with a 9.5mm steel, so the lead would say it's almost certain. Draw back, no twist, and there you go, up in the air. Definitely fork it with a lead. And this is going to be an interesting one. Big lead, put it in. Roll back, twist 90. Didn't it? Now we're going to try the 180 twist with the lead. Centre of the pouch she goes, draw back, twist 90, twist 180, no fork it. Now we're going to do with the lead emphasising the fork being pushed forward like so, pull back doesn't it? now that is interesting because if you draw there all my shots with a straight pouch have it when I've drawn in a straight line every one with lead and steel all the ones which I have emphasised the fork being pushed forward they have gone over, does that mean that the elastic goes over instead of just going straight does it mean it gives it a bit of a bump not sure, I'll let you make your own mind up, as I say I'm unsure about it, I was just doing the video as a test. So we'll try the last two shots now with the lead twisted at 90 and 180, 
then we'll try a different angle. Okay, so we've got a lead in there. Gonna draw back, emphasize the tilt, draw the um, twist the lead to 90. That missed the fork, that actually at the back of the catch box, that's what the noise was then. Did definitely miss the fork. Now, another lead, I'm gonna put it in the pouch, draw back, put that in to emphasize the tilt, twist 90, twist 180. Didn't hit it. Right then, we just have a little conclusion about these now. Uh, as I said, make your own mind up, everybody's tests might vary depending on ammo, bands, how you release the pouch, what type of pickle fork you're shooting, etc. But it seems the straight shots from there, no twist with steel and lead, going bang into the forks. The twist 90 and the twist 180 is missing the forks, um, hence probably twist round and over. I'm not sure how it works, hopefully the video will be able to tell you more than I can actually tell you myself. The interesting thing is when you draw down to here, without twisting the pouch, the shots go over, like I just said earlier, I don't know if they sort of bounce over the fork, I can't explain it, but at that angle straight, you hit the forks, if you emphasise the lean forward, you miss the forks, obviously, forward and twist and twist, you also um, miss the forks, so there you go, make your own mind up. Another thing, which uh, actually seen Toddy doing this at uh, Andover, all in the pouch, he was trying to emphasise the flip, so he was putting it in like that, tilting 90, and then doing that. So when the pouch releases, it flips the ball over. So we'll try that now. This is how he does his bare back, I think. See, and that was actually, I think that one went quite above the fog. Slow it down and have a look. But uh, we'll just take one more like that. You can see the way that it flips it, like this. So that. If you want to learn how to shoot one, just from judging this, I can tell this is a lot quicker and easier to not get a fork it on a pickle fork. As I say, not my idea. First person I've seen do it this body. Draw back, hold it like that so the ball naturally flicks up. There you go. Um, don't know what else to show you. I think that's about it. I'll let you all make your own mind up on the videos. Um, did the pickle fork take a beat in there? You bet it did. Got a couple of decent ones on it. Uh, cheers all.